So let's go talk about the new, let's call this Alexa replacement. They want you to have an AI buddy. Someone that's going to follow you around and be your friend. Unitree's $16,000 GI robot talks, jumps, dances, and wants to be your roommate. Robotics manufacturer Unitree has publicly announced the availability of a doomsday humanoid robot for less than what it takes to buy the cheapest U.S. car. $16,000, I think. Yes, that's for base conscript model, of course. Buyers will have to shore, to shore up if they want greater computing power, increased strength, articulating hands, and battle armor. Oh, that's interesting. For more peace-loving buyers, the Unitry G1 will be able to help out with household chores, uh, projects, cook meals, solder like a master electrician, and replace your children as a new parent. <laughs> Well, and we had another we had another thing on Tech Corner that was talking. I think it was either there or in News Trends and Stories, and you can always go into News Trends and Stories and search. And there are some key terms that you can search for um, about these automatic lawnmowers that that are like the automatic vacuum cleaners that you can get too, where it cleans your house or it mows your lawn but there it it became clear that there those devices were communicating with somebody outside the home so if you can imagine your entire property when your lawn is mowed and you, the entire inside of your house when you're vacuuming is uh available to anybody who wants to buy it yes yes so so let's let's see uh, about uh, Mr. Braxman makes another appearance here, and he has found hidden radios in your home Internet of Things devices. So I was aware of the Bluetooth. I was aware of the Wi-Fi. But apparently there are itty-bitty radios uh, tucked away in all sorts of things. So let's go check that out. There's been a heavy shift to using new wireless technology standards, such as Bluetooth Low Energy Zigbee, Thread from Google, 802.15, RFID, and LoRa, to name the popular ones. Where the last three decades have been about the internet, and the last 15 years was about cell communications and Wi-Fi, there's now a big move to new capabilities in IoT devices, Internet of Things devices. Fact, many of the IoT devices you buy include a two-way radio in it, they don't tell you this. These radio transceivers are being linked together to form mesh networks that allow for data to be forwarded over long distances without cost, monitoring, or an internet. In addition, new sensors are being built into these common devices that are threatening our privacy in new ways. While many of you are excited to check Amazon for the next IoT gadget, the bad guys are looking to take advantage. And the bad guy can be the hacker or big tech collecting your info or new players wanting to capture information independent of big tech. In all of this, the unaware consumer is always the victim. So in this video, I'll give you a big picture of radio technologies that are in these devices and what these radios can do. I will also answer the question about jamming these radio devices at the end. Stay tuned. That was a pretty good introduction. So if you're if you understand what the Internet of Things is, you understand that it's basically your vacuum cleaner talking to your TV set, talking to your refrigerator. And baby monitor. And baby monitor. So all these new electronic devices are coming out are coming out with a wide array of very small radio transceivers that can send and receive information a pretty decent distance and this just is just an enhancement to the skynet protocol we were discussing previously